Now, your certified most accurate forecast from WMBF First Alert Chief Meteorologist Jamie Arnold. Well, continuing to turn increasingly blustery here on this Halloween evening as our next surge of much colder air begins to work its way in. Still socketed with that overcast and temperatures now for all of us into the 50s, but notice low 50s here for Marion through Florence, Lumberton and Conway. That's just kind of the leading edge of that push of much colder air that's also being accompanied by this little band of very light showers and sprinkles now beginning to cross over Interstate 95. Florence up to Dillon and Lumberton getting in on some of that action and this band slowly slips through the rest of the area, but trick or treating will be over with by the time it starts to arrive towards the beaches. But as that moves out, the big time cold starts to move in. Once we get past midnight, the floodgates open for that much colder air to really start roaring its way in here on a gusty wind. And here is the result. Temperatures overnight tonight into tomorrow morning into the 30s for all of the PD in inland Horry County. 38 in Florence, 37 overnight tonight for Hartsville, 38 in Conway. Low 40s right along the beaches, but with that northeast wind 15, 20, 25 miles per hour, the wind chill tomorrow morning going to make it feel like 30 to 35 degrees. That's what you're going to need to dress for. And despite the fact that we're into full sunshine during the day tomorrow, that gusty north wind will continue to really drive in the colder air. That means our high temperatures tomorrow struggle to get out of the 40s into the low 50s. And for some perspective, mid 50s is about where we should be for our average high temperatures in the middle of January. So no doubt about it, an unseasonably cold day. And then tomorrow evening, the winds finally begin to ease up. Skies are clear and temperatures will fall fast. So you can kind of see here the waterway and west. That's where we have the freeze watch in effect for tomorrow night into Thursday morning. That means the growing season likely going to be coming to an end as temperatures drop to and even below freezing. 31 is my forecast for Conway and Marion, Bennettsville and Hartsville, 32 in Florence, all the way down to 30 up near the border. So that's where we see the freeze. Maybe some patchy frost, but likely staying just above freezing for the Grand Strand, but still quite cold. 35 to 36 degrees for Wednesday night into Thursday morning. So here's your first alert. Grand Strand seven day forecast, keeping that chill around 54 tomorrow, low 30s for tomorrow night, 58 on Thursday. Then we start to see a more significant rebound in those temperatures that actually managed to take us into the lower 70s by the weekend. Fingers crossed we might actually get a little bit of wet weather early next week. We could use some and we'll follow that up with another bit of a cool down. Inland 32 tomorrow night, 35 on Thursday night. Hard to believe though, as quickly as the cold air comes in, it gets out and we're right back into the 70s, low to mid 70s as we head into the weekend.